In this video I want to tell you about one aspect of quantum theory. Now most people think of quantum theory, uh, well most people who've never actually studied it, think of quantum theory as perhaps being some very complicated mathematical subject which um, is used to describe uh, difficult experiments going along in particle accelerators. And they think that uh, it's going to be all impossible for them to understand any of quantum theory's aspects. But in fact, um, some of the most um, fascinating and enigmatic features of quantum theory can be communicated without very, uh, with very little mathematics. And one of those features is what I'm going to talk to, talk to you about today. And it's related to the problem of unpredictability in scientific theories. So science has always had to deal with uncertainty. It doesn't matter whatever scientific laws we've believed in throughout, throughout the, the centuries. Whenever we try and apply those laws to real physical situations, um, we always find that there's some you know that no, nothing behaves ideally okay and we can't always predict what's going to happen and so scientists have had to come out with a way or of of trying to accommodate this uncertainty within the theories that they use to explain the behavior of the world around us and so the traditional way of doing this is to dismiss the uncertainty as being down to a lack of knowledge so let's think of a specific example. Um, think of predict, trying to understand what the weather's going, or predict what the weather's going to be like in uh, two or three weeks' time. Now, even though we have a very good understanding of the laws, the scientific laws and the rules that govern the flow of air and the flow of water and um, all the other things that go into the weather, um, we find it, even we, though we have very good descriptions of those rules, we find it very difficult to predict the weather um, for two reasons. So one reason is that um, we need to solve very complicated equations which are extremely difficult to solve. And secondly, um, we need to gather a lot of data about the weather, at, uh, the weather as it is today in order to be able to predict it in a, in, a, in a few weeks time and acquiring this data is also a difficult process so people would have the you know the, the mindset that we have is that our rules are we have good understanding of the rules but the unpredictability is purely down to our lack of knowledge and our lack of ability in solving the equations that come about from those rules and this is the traditional or so-called classical way that people have um, pictured uncertainty in, in scientific theories. But then quantum theory came along at the beginning of the 20th century and it differed from all previous theories in that quantum theory claims that there is inherent unpredictability in aspects of nature. And the way in which it makes this claim is that it says that it's a theory in which even if you know everything about the universe, um, the history of the universe and its current state, and even if you were able to solve all possible equations, um, then even in those situations, you will not be able to predict the out, um, perfectly the outcomes of every possible future experiment. And so the difference between quantum theory and classical theories is that quantum theory puts unpredictability in as an in, it writes it in to the laws of physics, whereas previously unpredictability was only um, discussed as a side effect of our lack of knowledge. Okay, and so this is perhaps one of the most profound differences between quantum theory and classical theory and it's actually one of the things which has caused us the most um, soul searching and difficulty and in fact a lot of the research that goes on in quantum theory today is uh, aimed at trying to understand exactly in what ways uh, quantum theory writes inherent unpredictability into nature 
and in what situations we can interpret the unpredictability of nature as being down to a lack of knowledge. Now unfortunately um, in a short YouTube video I can't go into a lot of details so um, uh, I, I can only recommend that you perhaps go and look at uh, books and, and literature that's out there but be, be very careful because there's a lot of crazy people who write things about quantum mechanics and quite often they want you to um, believe believe what they say and then perhaps go further and believe in their new age hippie theory so be careful of those people but um, I hope this uh, short description has perhaps uh, kindled some interest and maybe you can go and try and learn a bit more about it yourself.